Welcome to Alpha Protocol, y'all. The best spy game ever made. We're gonna start on normal difficulty, because I've played this before. Let's see, soldier. Field agent. Tech specialist. And freelancer. There's a, it's an RPG as well. Good morning, Extreme Locked. We're going to go field agent. Or you can just do... Or you can just go with a recruit. But we're going to do field agent. I like that one. Um, oh. Good, that's exactly what I wanted. And sabotage eventually. So I've got three notches in stealth. One notch in pistol. You want you eventually want to just do all pistol all the time. And then martial arts. God, this came out in what, 2009? 2008? Uh, I've actually never played the Splinter Cell games because I'm terrible at stealth games. Terrible at stealth games. Um, but this is a spy game, so it's a bit different. But yeah, it's definitely last generation console, like Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. I mean, look at this cut. Look at these cutscene graphics. Oh no, that's like. It's like always my fear when flying is that this happening. Yeah, I love Obsidian. Remember when we all wanted a wall like this? Oh, I got protocol began here after all. I got to turn on subtitles. You play Mike Thornton, who could be as nice or as Dickish as you want. Hang on. I gotta... Can I just... Can I go to the... I'd like to go to the... Can I go to the... Can I go to the thing? Can I go to the... Okay, I can't go to the menu. Okay, I can't go to the menu. You'll see. Good. You're awake. I wasn't sure how long you'd be under. Those tranquilizers wore off fast. Who are you? Why did you drug me? My name is Mina. And I didn't drug you. They did. They do it to everyone who arrives here. To protect the location. I'm going to pick the opposite of what I would usually pick. Therapy. I'm getting out of here. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually he's going to come check on you. And when he does... Why wait? 
Set off an alarm, let him know I'm awake. What? That'll bring him running. Saves me the trouble of hunting him down. Activating the... Finally. All right, hang on. Um, nope. Oh, wait. There we are. Right? Yes. Okay. The alarm now. Hope you know what you're doing. I did it. Guess Sleeping Beauty's had enough. That you, Mike? You just hold on. I'm sending some guards to tuck you back in. <laughs> Can I change that? Huh, let's see if I can change that. Where's melee? Where's melee? Melee. Uh oh. Now we can turn the alarm off. You need to shut off the alarm. The panel's on. Enjoy these mini games. These are the worst. Yes, I know. I know. Yes, I know how to do this. Okay. Um, yeah, I do these in order too, which is even funnier. I actually hate this mini game. Mike, careful. They probably have a guard in the lobby. Sweet. No, I've I actually played this before I played Mass Effect 2. I've already done one full playthrough of this. It's on. Pistols are the best thing in this game. <laughs> I'm sure <it> doesn't work. <laughs> oh, don't need to heal. Don't you worry about Mike Thornton. He's going to be fine. Don't you worry your pretty little head about Mike Thornton. God damn it. Uh... 
No health kits in here. All right. Oh wait, there we are. Boom. All right. Yes, 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 yes. I know. I know. Just Damn it. Gotta change that. Okay. Keep hitting C for crouch. Secret agent man. Agent man. Yeah, being sneaky with a silenced pistol is the best way to go in this game. Oh, God damn it. Oh, okay. That didn't go so well. that again I'm not the best at stealth games Now if I shoot him Oh well, okay. Can't shoot him. Mike, get out of there. Come on. Damn it. Come back this way, fella. 
Come on, fella. Buddy, come on. Come back this way. Oops. No. No. Wrong buttons. I was holding down the wrong buttons. I shoot him in the face. this computer, huh? Oh god, I hate this one so much. I hate this minigame so much. Yeah, I hate this minigame. Yeah, I hate this one. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. I am the worst. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. Jeez Louise, um... Um... What? Oh. Well, I hate this minigame too. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this one. Yeah, uh, yeah, the time limit really doesn't help. Okay. Yeah, I hate this one. I hate this one so much. End of the line, Mike. Give it up. All right, Mike, that's enough. That's enough? I think that's my line. What the hell's going on? Why did you drug me? We need to get the location of this facility confidential. Especially if you got kidnapped and questioned. You mean like now? Real friendly welcome to a new recruit. We're not in the business of making friends. Judging from your dossier, neither are you. You're supposed to line up the one You're bit with the other bit. It's... Yep. I'm gonna ask you some questions, run you through some more tests. Then you and I can talk. Face to face. That make you feel better? I don't need any more tests, and you know it. 
Just give me the mission and let's do this. Good to hear. I was a little worried. You need some more time to recover. Still, we need to brief you on your gear, weapons, and your security clearance. Won't take long. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Your file's got a lot of gaps in it. A lot more than I usually see in field agents. Those gaps were hard to fill. I thought those records were buried. We're pretty good at digging. The ops needed to be done. Whatever they were. Looks like they were sad to see you go, and probably happy at the same time. But you wouldn't be a good field agent if your boots didn't get dirty. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm gonna let you out of the pen here, and meet the rest of the crew. There's more of you? I'm unique. So is the rest of the staff. They all have their little quirks, but that's what makes them perfect for the job. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. It's a big one, and dangerous. But I think you're the man for the job. Jesus! Make the rounds. I'll see you soon. Definitely spending it on pistols. I do this too. Or I think there's one. It might be this one that helps uh, with security systems. Big. Damn it! I have to change this key. Hang on. Yeah, screen. Good. No weapons past this point. Hey, fellas. Okay. Very pale, yes. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, layered. Absolutely. Oh, wait. Five o'clock shadow. No. Oh, God. Wait, what? No, no. More? Oh, ho, 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 Oh, 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 my. Yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, my. I got to let that hair flow through flow free. Oh, wait. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Orientation's not mandatory. You can turn around and go back to Westridge right now. Although that might make him upset. You might want to take it a little easier when you escape next time. So I've hacked this uh, email. I've hacked this email thing and now I could look at emails.
This just fills you in on stuff. It's not really like super. Super useful. Oh wow, I need to heal up. Let's do the orientation. Hello? Anybody shooting in here? Agent Thornton. Hello. Hey. Hey, you're the one I spoke to when I woke up in the medical bay. <laughs> Glad that wasn't a hallucination. It may have been. Do you remember my name? Or do I need to write it down for you? No need, Tina. Is that right? <laughs> Mina. Mina Tang. <laughs> you just got your letters mixed up. Considering I'm about to go into the firing range, let's just say I was distracted and move on. So, where's the weapons trainer? I'm it. Sexist much? Well, depending on the reaction, you bet. <laughs> I see. But let's get down to the task at hand. I'm here to run you through the weapons training and test your accuracy. I think my gun is working just fine. Not according to the tests we ran while you were under, but we'll have the results for you later. So, about the guns then? Just head through the door to the firing range, and I'll keep in contact with you over the earpiece. Head over to the table, get your weapons, and we can begin. Alright, Mina already doesn't like me, which is... The standard field agent package includes a pistol, SMG, shotgun, and assault rifle. Each has its strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with the pistol. Oh. Equip the pistol, then aim down range and take some shots at the target. Come on. There we go. Good aim. Now, steady your aim for a few seconds, then fire. Precision shots can take down a target quickly. Almost. 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 What? Now, let's move on to the submachine. Oh, I see what you wanted me to do. Now let's empty the clip. Let you get a feel for the recoil. Now take cover. Still using cover, take some shots at the target. Accuracy is terrible while firing blind, but it can get the job done, eventually. Now try popping out and focusing your aim. You can use cover to your advantage here. Unlock the door to the tactical range on your right. Let's see how you do against some moving targets. Now, with the pistol, you'll want to be patient and attack when targets get close. Oh boy. Long 
long-range encounters, the assault rifle's the key. It's accurate, what? powerful. Just be sure to line up your shots carefully. Mike, I'm logging the results now. All right. Is somebody out on the course? Darcy. He's trying to beat your time. Darcy? Who the hell is that? Our tech instructor. Very insecure. Good luck. He can try. Oh, he will. Repeatedly. Does he not know when to quit? As soon as he knew you were talking to me, Mike, he was in here in a second. In case he saw you as a challenge for my... It's like a cage match with you boys. Am I? A challenge, I mean. If you have to ask, Thornton, then there's your answer. All right, let's see here. It'll do. Satisfactory enough for Westridge, I think. You can give it another run if you want. The course should be free. Hmm, I'll pass. Very well. I'll log your score. I'll have the results sent to your handler, and Westridge can give the rest of your evaluation, provided you've completed the other tests. Gotta do all the orientation. Mikey, be with you in a moment. I'm just setting some things up here. I'm Sean Darcy. I'm going to be running you through tech orientation. Name's Michael, actually, or Agent Thornton. I don't like either one of those. And you really could stand to relax a little if you want to get ahead here, Mikey. I'm not interested in getting ahead. I'm interested in finishing this and getting onto my assignment. For now, this is your assignment, Mikey. Mike. Agent Thornton. So why don't you calm down and just listen, all right? <laughs> I'm glad you finally showed up. Thought you might have gotten lost on the way here. Or we're too busy beating up some more guards. For someone who's checking the clock, we're sure wasting a lot of time talking. Yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, not a good idea. Hitting the guards, I mean. The ones here have a lot of time on their hands. And that means a lot of time to hold grudges. I'll keep that in mind. But I wasn't expecting to be drugged and attacked. A good agent's ready for anything, Mikey. But enough chit-chat. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Well, you do. I'm mostly here as an observer. I'll be doing your evaluation, too. What's that out there? A used car lot? A target range for you. For me, more like a shooting gallery. Head out the door there and we'll get started. All right, then. Open the locker and equip yourself. If you use them all, just come back and grab some more. All right, everyone's favorite, grenades. Let's see that arm of yours. Go on, start chucking them. They're concussion rounds, so don't be skittish. They sting, not kill. Something more challenging. Try a ricochet to hit the target behind the wall. Lob it behind the target and use the wall for a hook shot. Now, try 
and get one through the window. Now for some fireworks. Try and chuck one beneath the truck and take out the gas tank. <laughs> See that locker there? Let me guess. You want me to place one on the door? Nice. And just in time. Guess some of the other guards will be pulling double shifts for a while. You know those guards you beat up when you got out of medical? Yeah, well, they're gonna be joining us in a second. You've got a head start, so if I were you, I'd set an ambush or just start running. Me, I'd use the mines. That's what they're for. Let's give me first shot at him. basic run. You know, that performance wasn't half bad. Almost as good as my record. How about we up the stakes? Take this to the big leagues. Maybe some other time, Darcy. I just want to get out of here and get my assignment. You're lost, then. I thought you might be scared. I mean, I don't really blame you. It's a big world out there. Full of risks. I'm not scared, Darcy. I'm bored. If this is all you've got to teach me, then I need to move on anyway. Temper, temper, Mikey. I wouldn't get your blood pressure up or they're going to trank you again. Doubtful. Since it looks like I'm the only agent in this facility they're willing to give a real mission to. Too bad for you, Darcy. All right, then. If you change your mind, the range is good to go. Whenever you feel up to it, that is. Yeah, I'm not good at this one. I don't know if he talks crap if you hit yourself. I don't know. This is a restricted area. The vending machines are down the hall and to the right. Good to know where the machine is in case I need to throw you into it. Who's your superior? Westridge. He sent me here. I'm more than happy to leave if you've got nothing to teach me. So, orientation. You are familiar with the premise of an obstacle course, I assume. I am. And I'd ease up on that attitude. This exercise is bullshit, and I don't like jumping through hoops any more than you do. Fine. At least you're to the point. Hmm. Up the ladder is the training area. The first test is navigating through the environment without being detected. Following that, you'll be facing live challenges against the agents here. I already ran one of these in basic, and every week thereafter. Well, then this should be no problem for you. I look forward to the results. What's the deal with the security panel? It secures the entrance. If you're as capable as Westridge says, then you should have no trouble hacking it and gaining access to the course. Clock's ticking. Great. Course begins now. Hack 
the door in front of you to gain access to the course. Hey, okay, there's that one, I guess. for cameras. We can't have you appearing on the nightly news. Mind the gap. The key to stealth is timing. Pay attention to camera movements, then exploit their blind spots. God damn it. Gotta change that key. Can we get out of this? What? Taking in the view. Yeah, well, I doubt the view is what's making you hesitate. Based on several factors. Sorting the numbers now. Yeah, that was terrible. That was pretty terrible. Very good. Above average performance for a trainee. What? Okay. You want to run it again? No, I don't think so. Very well, I'll log the results. Westridge can complete your evaluation once you finish the other tests. Glad that's over with. I don't want to be running tests when there's actual work to be done. Was there anything else? I'd like to talk about your attitude, actually. You've been running me ragged since I met you, and you've got no call to talk down to me. Of course I do. I'm your superior. Rank doesn't matter when the cameras are off. It may seem abrupt at times, Agent. 
But I am an analyst, not your friend. When I am your handler, my job is to give you information quickly, efficiently, and help you accomplish your mission. They use you on missions? You're kidding me. Why? I can resolve situations a field agent would hesitate at. They might be missing facts. I won't. That's pretty arrogant. What about instinct? I put more faith in comprehensive knowledge of regional and global politics, plus a thoroughly researched chronology of the events leading up to a mission. <clears throat> facts are only going to get you so far. Unlikely and untrue. The smallest event analyzed incorrectly or acted on improperly could have great repercussions. Like butterfly wings sparking a tornado, that kind of thing? Spare me the butterfly cliché. Guerrilla actions, nuclear tests, exposing a corrupt politician, a rise in grain prices, and... Yes, the downing of an airliner in the Middle East. All of these things have the potential to create larger catastrophes. Okay... Controlling the repercussions of these events, getting agents the information they need to put fires out before they rage out of control, that is my job. If we're going with bad metaphors, then you're the brain that guides the hand. Yes, it's a numbers game. But decisions must be made quickly. If the decisions are solely reactive or passive, well, then you operate at a disadvantage. So sometimes you create events. For political equilibrium, yes, at times. At other times, to give America an economic advantage. I thought we were mostly mission-driven. We are. But even you will see the effect that even seemingly minor interactions have on the structure of a mission. Carry the logic one step up, and it shouldn't be hard for you to grasp. What else do you do here, aside from analysis? Whatever is needed. You know, I actually thought you were the janitor when I arrived. That would either be an insult or an excellent deduction. I'm guessing the former. I was actually just trying to make conversation. But why would that be an excellent deduction? Because, Agent, Alpha Protocol can only maintain plausible deniability as long as no one knows we exist. That means continually cleaning and scouring data, masking our communication lines, and protecting our global positioning. If that's your job, that's your job. Seems to me like it could be a lot worse. Actually, you have no idea. I am merely stating the facts. If you want to debate them, do it silently. So that janitor comment. I hit it right the first time around. So in short, yes. I clean up after others. And if necessary, I'm the one tasked with shutting the... Hey, how was your walk? Shutting it down? Turning off the lights, putting up the chairs, locking the door. You... You get to shut no. this place down? Did you think West would no. be the one? No. He might hesitate. But what happens to the... I mean, is there an escape route? Or <coughs> what happens? What do you mean, Agent? Be specific. I dislike dancing around an issue if one exists. What would cause that to happen? Embarrassment and exposure. Something that would prevent Alpha Protocol from denying the presence of its agents or its government agenda. You sound like you've done this before. If I have, it's classified. Or perhaps I'm joking. Are we done here, Agent? I think I've answered all your questions. Some of them, yeah. The others can wait. The question... No, I'm, I'm, I'm still streaming, babe. No, babe. Um, he has a massive beard because I like. I think it's funny, and he's a psychopath because in my first playthrough of this, I was very professional, answered all the questions like I would do it, very like focused, <coughs> you know, good guy. This time I'm playing the complete opposite. So many doors. Then there's this asshole. You guys must have spent a fortune on the TVs in this place. You all done? You tell me. 
Now you're learning. I have to admit I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. You gave our staff a run for its money. Maybe it's their training that's in question, not mine. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse to up the morning drills around here. Looks like you did well on the tech portion of the test. Very well. Past Darcy's <laughs> bitching, there's some real compliments in here if you look at the numbers. Mina's report says you might need more practice on the gun range, but you're probably still shaking off the drugs we gave you. Evaluate me out in the field, not on the practice range. I'll get the job done. All right, we'll see. You certainly got the attitude for it. And here's a surprise, a positive evaluation from Parker. On the number side as usual, but he actually took the time to write a sentence. He did? Uh, what was the sentence? You may have been right about this one, Westridge. For Parker, that's high praise. Assuming you don't let us down, Mike. Looks like that's it for the physical evaluation. Now for the hard part. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteered. Usually, we have to ask. I guess I'm an adrenaline junkie. And the women, of course. I'm not sure we need a cowboy. You need what? someone, or I wouldn't be here. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. I'm ready, and I'm tired of my questions getting answered by more questions. Welcome to our world, Mike. My job is to help you cut through questions and get an answer. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. Good, because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude. That's what we're going to discuss now. If you're telling me I have an attitude problem, then you could have read that in my file. No, believe it or not, you're not here because you're a people person. You're here because your psych profile says you're skilled at manipulating others. Was that a compliment? You'll see. The way you project yourself definitely affects what people think of you, and your reputation with them. What do I care what others think? You shouldn't. Having a bad or good rep with someone can actually gain you different benefits. Keyword's pretty bad, Sometimes man. Sometimes you want to piss someone off so they can't think straight. Other times you want to build a strong rapport with someone and talk your way out of a bad situation. All depends on your objective. This goes for your handlers as well. We're going to be sending you into a lot of dangerous places. No, I didn't know it would do that. Going to be who you're talking to on your headset. How you treat them is going to have an effect on the success of your mission. So if I piss them off, I'm screwed? No. A handler that likes you too much and puts emotions before the mission can be just as dangerous as one who resents you. This is a long way of telling me that I should just act the way I want? I don't have time to chat when there's work to be done, and it sounds like it'll just leave me vulnerable if I go down the wrong road. No, again, there are no bad choices, just results. Over time, folks may hear about you and your attitude before they meet you. They may have a preconceived notion of how you're going to treat them, which can affect their reaction. Well, maybe they should take the time to know the real me. If only. Time's something no one seems to be able to spare, especially during the conversation. Although that can be a plus. I don't see how. The clock doesn't stop when you're speaking to someone. So if you need to get your second win before a fight, making small talk can buy you time. But if I'm running on adrenaline, won't chatting take me off my guard? It can. So if you need to get to the point, act instead of fight. For example, if you don't think I have any more to teach you, then you could just say, I'm done with this. I wouldn't think any less of you. You seem to have the basics down. Why wouldn't I just shoot someone instead of talking to them? Sometimes it is better if you shoot first. Still approaching someone to talk to them can allow you to get the drop on them if you get close enough to strike. Use it if you have to, if the conversation isn't going your way. Assuming there's even a way you want the conversation to go. So how do I know what provokes someone? I'd rather rattle them if I can. If that's what you want to do, pay attention to the clues in your environment. Sometimes people will have advice, and intel can help. But there's another way. Read much? Yes. Usually before I'm ordered to destroy the document. There's a host of information out there through dossiers, email, and other documents that represent total research others have collected on a target, organization, or operation. And what does that get me, exactly? Sometimes you'll spot obvious triggers. People who don't respond well to smart asses like me. Others who respect loyalty, duty, a professional approach. Others who don't have time for bullshit and like it when you get to the point. 
But dossiers just don't contain psych information. They'll usually have combat information on your target as well. What side they favor, any past injuries, common weapons or tactics they use. Some of it blunt, some of it subtle. But if push comes to shove, it can give you an edge in combat. The more you've done your homework, the more vulnerable they'll be. Maybe I could spend that extra time reading, pumping them full of bullets instead. I'll pass. If your target can't fire back, great. <laughs> Otherwise, good luck with that strategy. Me, I recommend reading up on your enemies and your team. You have dossiers on everyone here? Yep, if you can dig them up. You might learn a few things. Sometimes reading a dossier will give you more options when dealing with others. A few facts to bring up to shake secrets loose. What about you? You should already know what makes me happy, Mike. And what pisses me off. At what point can I start accessing personnel records and conducting surveillance? After meeting a target or hearing their name referenced by someone else, you should have a target ID. Then hop onto the database and start doing your homework. You can usually unlock their basic information at that point. Let's start with a simple one. al Samad. That should be familiar to you. The terrorist group. Yes, you can research groups as well as people. It doesn't carry the same benefits, but it can provide useful intel in the field. <laughs> people is a good way to help gain dossier information. Sometimes people will have information on someone that can unlock a brand new thread in your computer. Facebook. Okay. Facebook, so man. I'll suffer through your interrogation and know how to give one if need be. Am I ready or not? We'll see. Meet me in the command center and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good. Because I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. Hey, Ted, though. Good morning. It is fairly ambitious. Uh, the dialogue choices are the best part. Like... Recognize him? That Sheik Ali Shahid, the voice of al Samad. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. Yeah. A Excuse me, I'm sorry. A stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. Specs and shadiness of this whole thing aside, how did Shahid get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck and we need them back before he gets any more trigger happy. Then we want you to kill him. About time I'm getting tired of this place. There is actually. All right, then. Pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? I'll be there in spirit. And on video and radio when needed, agent. And I just got here. Ah, oh, well. I'm gonna miss this place. I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia. Yeah, the more information you get on a target, the better. You have more options. It is pr it is buggy, but it's not that bad. Well, you should watch and see how an actual mission goes. Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? Old news. An accounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia. Mike, can you read me? I'm getting lots of interference. Reading you loud and clear. Where can I find Shahid? It's a little more complicated than that. It's going to require some groundwork and lots of it. Good to see you're eager to get started. Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble is, we don't know his location, but we have three leads. An arms dealer, Najri, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid, and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, maybe he can tell you where Shahid is or guide you to the missiles. Sounds simple enough. Depending on the firepower he's brought to sell, I doubt it. Don't get careless. We also tracked down the location of an airfield Shahid used in the past. If you can sneak in and plant a listening device, we may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored there. Why are we playing around? Why not send in the troops and storm the place? We need to make sure the missiles aren't armed. If they are, our aerial assault will be one of the shortest flights in history. We'll want you to go in alone. 
Recon the area and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be interested in. Such as? A computer it's not? The hub what? Action so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. What, to the Stone Age? Please. You can do dossier research and what? emails and if need be, minute. access some of the weapons dealers in the area. A minute. That'll be done on your own dime, however, using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. So if I need a resupply, I'll need to steal money and then contact a dealer myself? We don't want you using the Alpha Protocol accounts with rival terrorists or weapons dealers. That has a habit of getting back to us. And then Congress calls. There's also a weapons locker in the main living area. Open it up. Help yourself. But use the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door. Or access the missions from the main terminal. I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. Alright, so is that it? Westridge. Great. Home sweet home. Crap, I didn't know that. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> ah, great. So you can buy more stuff once you uh, get more money. I can buy sights and magazines and things and what if I could buy a sight for the pistol. God, that's sad. This game is great. Got it for like three bucks on a Okay. I think we're done. All right, so we got some mods for our. I just looked like I think I got it on Gamers Gate like a million years ago, and it's not there either. I wonder if there's still a place you can get keys for it. Oh.
if it ever got a physical PC release, to be honest with you. So we have a first aid kit, EMG charges. We use our gadget. The gadget with G. Oh, apparently there, there, so there was a physical release? Oh, that's good. Alright, let's do our, let's do a mission. Alright, you guys. So, we can bug the airfield, we can investigate the weapons stockpile, or we can intercept the arms dealer. I'm, I'm thinking this one. Yeah, let's go that one. So, um, oh, you can buy intel, apparently. You can buy intel, but I don't have enough money for intel. What's up, Mikey? Problems already? Just checking in. Had some questions about the mission and Alpha Protocol. And you called me instead of Westridge? Lucky me. The Asamad detention camp where they got the weapon stockpiles? Anything you can tell me? Getting satellite imagery of the area has been hard. My contacts haven't turned up much. What's the problem with the imagery? Camp's remote and dug into the side of a canyon. Beautiful view, but lousy for spying from above. So there's nothing else you can tell me. Guess this call was useless. Now, now, you came to the right person, don't get upset. Agents who lose their cool before they even get out of the safe house don't tend to live very long. That a threat? You're the only threat. You bring that Ooh. temper of yours into the mission, there's bound to be a bigger explosion than you like. But trust me, I can help. Then let's hear it. The thing about the camp is weather. Sandstorms are hitting the area pretty hard. Which is to your advantage. How? It cuts down visibility for you and them. You need to sneak in before they know you're there. So just wait for the storm to kick up, then take them out. All right. Good to know. Oh, one other thing. They've dug in deep, with a maze of tunnels beneath the camp. If they've got any weapons down there, it's going to be a pain getting to them. Then it's your job to get me through. There's only so much I can do here, but I'll try. And if you fail, I'll have to take over and clean up your mess. Sounds like you're going to be my handler when I infiltrate the Asamad camp. Yeah, I got stuck handholding you. Hope that's not a problem. When I'm in that camp, I expect you to back me up. Your attitude and orientation, it's not going to fly. What? You think you outrank me? You're not my superior. I'll do my job, you do yours. Been with Alpha Protocol long? Longer than you, so yeah, long enough. There a problem? I was just curious how you managed to get this mission instead of me. But if you don't want to tell me, that's fine too. Nothing to say. If you weren't picked, you'd know the reason better than me. Right. Well, I hope you don't mess this up. I'd hate to clean up after you. That'll be hard to do with you all the way back at base. Training agents. That's all I need. See you in the field, Darcy. Mission times. Mikey, you there? Yeah, I hear you. Come on, we can get through this. Even if we do hate each other's guts. <laughs> no radio chatter, no alarms. Looks like you did a good job of getting in under their radar. Wish our choppers could. Would have saved us a lot of trouble. Bad intel? No, sandstorms. They fuck with the satellite imagery. 
but they're great for someone moving in on foot. Let's you get in for the kill before the bad guys know you're there. So, wait for a storm, use it as cover. That's the idea. Probably won't be that simple. But hey, that's why they sent you instead of me, right? I use a skill. Skill Q. Okay. So this skill is pretty useful. It tells you who's looking where someone is and where they're looking. Damn it. Oh, I could have come up here and taken them out. Oh, well. I'm not the best stealthy guy, I'll be honest with you. Can I get out? across the canyon from me. A lot of open ground in between. Try not to get spotted. If you get trapped in there... I know. Yeah. Yeah, the dialogue is different whether they like you or hate you. I've ar I've already noticed that. <laughs>
Uh oh. Whoops. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, you don't you don't start off as the best shot in the world. That's why I gotta level up the pistol.
Oh, he'll stealth kill when he has to, but if he's he's not the best at at being stealth. Oh, whoa. Oh. Um Stealth. Oh, that sounds fun. Or... Ooh! Yes! Also, your, 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 um, the way you talk to people and whatnot, you know, like, I'm aggressive, so <laughs> I do more strike damage. Yeah, he likes punching people. He likes punching people a lot. Mike, Mike really likes punching people. If, if he can do that. Now get to the servers and upload that data. You weren't kidding about the tunnels in this place. Got themselves a hell of a maze down here. Servers need power. Find power lines or work lights, then follow them to the source. They need to find their way around as much as you do. Ah, it saves ammo when you punch people. Very effective. <laughs> he loves knocking people out. Oh, what? What is this? Okay, that's kind of useful. That's kind of neat. Huh. Supposed to get that way. Oh, hey. <clears throat> oh. How dare you. Run into me and I'll knock you out. Love it. Looks like I found the old cells, mostly storage. If there's time, see if you can get inside. Oh boy. Um. Oh, damn it.
hate this game. Yeah, that's great. That's great. All right. Sign of the missiles, though. Looks like this place has been cleaned out. Damn. Guess that would have been too much to hope for. All but right. money. Get to the computer if you can. On it. And I have to figure out how to turn off the alarm. Please turn off the bloody alarm. Oh, hey, money. Take it. Or detention records. I don't know. Got me XP, so sure. Oh, hey. Oh, come on. All right. Um. Here we go with this bullshit. Okay. Oh, come on. I just saw it and you moved it on me. No, 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 damn it. I wish you'd stop doing this game. Really wish you'd stop doing it. Uploading the information now. A lot of data here. And this system looks pretty state of the art. Receiving. No more kidding. Watch your back, you probably got guards on the way. These specs look like Halbeck targeting data tied into the radio tower. Alright. Get topside if you can. We could use the help. Like we got company. A lot of it. So I came down. I got a black hawk on the way. Meet up with us top side. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, thanks, babe. Great. Any more healing kits around? Oh boy. Oh look, stuff. What?
Oh, no other health kits. That's great. Okay. Um, good times. Good times. Oh, not this way? Alright. Ah. Um, okay. Oh. There'll be a million guys out there and me at my next to no health. Anybody? Anybody? Where am I going? I still have three health, which is hilarious. Um, where am I going? Where am I going, even? Oh, hey, fella. Okay, cool. Oh. Oh, jeez. God. All the cash I acquired. Attention, Majoran workers. Yeah, right. Mikey, so you got back safely. Yeah, thanks for the lift out of there. Just doing my job. No need to thank me. We recover anything from the camp yet? Some records. Good job digging those out, by the way. Still sorting through it, but... But what? Well, I'm out of the loop on the data recovery. Westridge assigned the analysis to Mina and Parker. We'll see what they dig up. What, you can't check out the data? It was your op, too. 
Yeah, I know, huh? Apparently, it's not my job when I can chat with you over a headset instead. Whatever. Baldy and the Ice Queen should be able to get what you need. About the mission. Yeah, what? Is there a problem? I could have gotten more backup from you. I better not see any more attitude in the field. I did my job. Now you do yours and find Shahid. And next time you think you can talk to me like that, you check your rank. You don't give me orders. Not yet. Give it time, Darcy. Let me know as soon as you find out anything, Darcy. <laughs> All right, I'll be in touch, Mikey. <laughs> oh, so it's time to wrap up. This has been three hours. So, uh, yeah, we're going to stop here for the day. Um, you guys wanted to keep playing this? I can put, I can, I, I, I can probably put this in the monthly rotation. Um, game is great. Uh, um, I want to thank you all for, uh, hanging out today. And, um, a special thanks to those who give via Patreon or Twitch subscriptions. By the way, if you gave a Twitch subscription through Prime, you have to redo it every month. So if you could do that, that would be wonderful. Um, and uh, what are we playing tomorrow? I don't remember. Something awesome tomorrow. Um, ah, tomorrow we are playing a game called Battle Chasers Night War. I keep hearing how awesome it is from people, and I apparently have a copy. So that's what we're going to be playing tomorrow during the day. Tomorrow in the morning... Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to give the multiplayer of the new Comanche a try. I love the Comanche games. I played all four of them. I love them all. I, I love the classic Novologic games. So I'm really hoping this one's good. Uh, Friday, we're back with Mass Effect 3. Saturday, we're doing a Patreon meetup in the morning. It looks like we're going to be playing... Um, it looks like we're going to be playing Star Trek Online, based on the poll I sent out to patrons. Um, so it looks like we're going to hang out, have a have a hangout with our patrons. Um, if you want to join, you can just become a patron. And then Sunday, we're going to give City State a try. That is a city builder that focuses more on local government than actual city building. And apparently it's excellent. Um... Yeah, so that's going to do it for today, because today is a laundry day and a chores day, and I barely got any steps in yesterday, because uh, it was raining cats and dogs here, and I had to take a long walk today and then collapse. But yeah, I want to thank you guys um, for hanging out with me, and uh, let me know if you want me to play this some more. Um, because I will totally do that. We can totally put it on the regular rotation. Oh. What am I doing? I, d I almost didn't end the stream we, the way we end every stream. What am I doing to myself? What am I doing to myself? We almost didn't end with some bloody rally show. Gotta end with some bloody rally show. I'd end with some good old BRS. I always end with Bloody Rally Show. That's how tired I am. How out of it I am. Apparently, Nicole's having a FaceTime. Oh boy. Okay. This is going to be a very heavy drifting course. Very, very drifty. See if I can see how long I can drift for. Oh.
What? <laughs> I kind of want to do that again. Oh, I can do better than that. I can do that again. That was over so quickly. Let's see if I can drift a little better than this. We just drifted a circle. Hey, there we go. Much better. <laughs> I'll take it. <sighs> so yeah, that'll wrap it up for today. Thank you so much, everyone. And I love you all. Stay safe. Be well. Please tell your friends about this if you haven't already. I'd really love to keep being able to do a go of all this. But I need more eyes. I need more eyes and more support. So if you can just please tell your friends, spread the word. Every every eyeball that gets on this is 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 helpful. So if you if you enjoy the entertainment I try and give you every day, please tell your friends. Um, thank you so much. Be safe. Be well. Take care of each other. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.